Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. Right, so in the last episode we left off in the save station here inside Chozo Ruins, just outside the uh, puzzle room that we need to go to. Oh, hang on a second, this is going to show us where the ice beam is again. Oh boy, right, so we have to get all the way over here. This is like our main objective, pretty much, um, for the next couple of videos. I don't think we're going to get there in this episode because it's quite a long trek to get there. There's a lot of rooms we have to traverse through, and there's these mushrooms that are blocking my way, so can you please get out of here? Get out of here with your stinking ass. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I only just woke up, so I'm feeling pretty energized. Uh, I got actually surprisingly decent sleep last night, oddly enough. Yeah, considering how sweltering the room was, it was boiling. It was like freaking trying to sleep in a sauna. That's literally how it felt like. This is crazy. Well, these past couple of days, the weather's been really nice like, for several days straight. And it's kind of, it's kind of reminding me of last summer a little bit when it was really hot last summer too. It was just days and days of hot weather. And it's kind of like that this year because usually summer here in the UK isn't like that at all. Like summer here is basically just rain, that's all we used to, rain, cloudy skies with, you know, cold cold winds, cold breezes nothing, nothing like this, like, you know, constant humidity and blue skies and no clouds just intense heat yeah, we're not really used to that <laughs> I mean, last summer was really good, but it has rained a few times this summer. It's not like, you know, being constant with the heat and stuff. Right, okay, so we're in new, te a new territory here. Um, I don't think there's anything... Wait, is there anything in here? I'm pretty sure there is, actually. There might be a missile pack or something in this room here. Oh, wow, it's an energy tank. Well, that's, that's actually a really easy energy tank to pick up. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'm glad to have snagged that. Um, so that brings us up to a total of seven now, I believe, because the last time we got an energy tank, I pointed out that we got six, I think. And, uh, yeah, we got seven now, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not going to bother to try and count. I'm not even looking at the energy tanks. I'm just going to assume, because I do remember saying in one of my videos that I had six, and that was, like, the last one I picked up, so. <clears throat> Alright, so let's boost ball across this. Just wait for the block to respawn here, and boost ball, use a bomb jump real quick. Yeah, you have to be really quick on that. Like, as soon as you reach the end one, you have to press the A button almost immediately to actually get the bomb jump to work before the platform disappears. Alright, so we're making pretty good for time here. We're actually not that far away from the room, so maybe we might even get to the room. We might get to the room in this video, I don't know. So anyway, here's Cho some Chozo lore. Chozo tran uh, script translated. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands, or is it a roving chunk of a planet that <coughs> suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago, in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured, that doomed place must have been mighty indeed, and if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold to the hope, or hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are here, in Town 4, then at least there is hope for the, for its eradication. So, yeah, they're talking about Phazon again there, um, with the, you know, the meteor that caused the uh, impact crater to appear. Most of the Chozo laws will just talk about that, <laughs> um, a lot of them do. Yeah, you kind of notice that as you play through the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've read one that's very similar to that. But it's just like picking up from where it left off kind of thing with the story and all. Alright, uh, so I need to remember what exactly to do in this room. Uh, I think we have to use a super missile on something to activate um, these half, well these tunnels here on the wall. Um, 
Oh, actually, I don't think they're tunnels, they're spider ball tracks. They turn out to be spider ball tracks. So we need to basically reverse the uh, spider ball tracks. There's a whole bunch of Chozo lore in here, and I'm not going to read it because there's a lot to read here. So I'm just going to scan them for the 100%, you know, scanning nonsense. Alright, I think it's this one here we have to shoot out with a super missile, so we'll go ahead and do that. And just scan it. And that should activate um, the spider ball tracks for us. Yeah. And then what? basically what we have to do is once we get to the top of the spider ball track, we have to bomb jump into that bomb slot, activate that. And then we kind of have to do the same with the other side of the half pipe. We just have to... Um, I don't think we have to go into a bomb slot. Oh, shoot. I was right on that. Dang it. The camera screwed me up. Okay, so let's try it. There we go. Oh, okay, there is another bomb slot. Alright. So there's two bomb slots you have to activate. And then what that'll do is activate a elevator of sorts for the morph ball. That'll take you up to a tunnel. And then you can get yourself a missile expansion. Which is what I remember you getting from this. Hmm. <clears throat> So come down into here and go up the elevator. Walk ball across here and there you go. So that brings us up to a total of, I don't know how many missiles we have now, but we have a fair amount I'm pretty sure. Yeah we got 90, that's, that's a good number to be at. Okay, so we're coming into a kind of a main room I'd say of this area of Chozo Ruins. Um, which has a puzzle that branches off into three individual little subsections but you can only activate those subsections once you have a certain beam um, I think you can do it with the wave beam, the ice beam and then uh, the last beam which I'm not going to go ahead and mention for spoilery purposes um, but you'll see the color of it once we get into the room because they're color coded the slots that you have to shoot um, yeah, it's this room right here. Okay, but I don't know if we have our first encounter. Yes, we do. With the Chozo Ghosts. Oh, boy. Oh, I was hoping not to fight these guys. Yeah, these things are a gigantic pain in the ass. Because they show up in almost every room. In Chozo Ruins, Talon Overworld. Uh, even Fendrana Drifts, I think. There are some areas where they show up in there, too. So, yeah, they're kind of a nuisance. The only way you can kill these things, or the best way to kill these things, is just by using super missiles, because it only takes two super missiles to kill them. You just have to wait for them to show up, and sometimes they attack in greater numbers, like more than two in one room. But I'm not sure if that was the only one, just to demonstrate it. Yeah, it is, okay. So when you come back in here later, I think more of them show up, so then you have to fight like two in this room. And then in some rooms there are even three of them per room, which is kind of crazy. Right, so we're going to come up to a uh, tunnel here that will take us to a room that's very important. Um, you might want to come in here and scan it and use it for its uh, purposes. It's a missile station. These things are very uncommon, like you very rarely come across these. I think there's only three of them in the entire game. And considering there are like five worlds in the game, including the final area, um, that's quite small compared to the amount of safe stations you come across in the game. Yeah, so whenever you come across a missile station, use it just in case you don't. If you're low on missiles for whatever reason. All right, so uh, we can actually do one of these. We can um, actually hang on. Do we have to? I think we might have to go into morph ball first. To actually <clears throat> activate this. Oh, there's Chozo Lore over there. What the hell, man? Hang on a second. We, we got scanning to do in this room, so I'm going to scan a few things. So, I, I believe that's the Cho Chozo Elder, which is like, I don't know, the, the head honcho of the Chozos. So that's more Chozo Lore just scanned there. I don't think there's anything else really to scan in here of any importance, so we're just gonna um, get back into Morph Ball form here if I can actually land into the cusp of his hands here. So he can then bowl me up. Uh, 
And attached to the spider ball. Right, okay, well, there's a bomb slot here. So I think this actually activates the color-coded um, symbols on the wall. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we got wave beam, we got ice beam, and then we got an unknown beam, which I'm not going to mention. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm guessing by the color you can already tell what kind of beam it is. Actually, I don't need to do this, do I? No, I do not. Dude, don't ball me up. Don't ball me up, baby. Don't ball me up. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's go up here, and I think we have to jump, yeah, double jump up to here, and then there's something we need to scan, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That will deactivate that force shield for us, but, oh, actually, hang on a second, maybe we do need to shoot this to actually get to where we need to go. So you shoot it with a wave beam, and then it'll activate a bomb slot for you, which you can then go ahead and use. I'm going to have to end the video off here after doing this because I'm running out of time. I am running out of time! So a new path is opened. And for every one that you shoot out, it will activate a new path for you. So it will take you to different parts of the room, basically. Um, one of them has an energy tank and then another one has a Chozo artifact. So... We'll have to be coming back here for those at some point. Well, the energy tank would be really easy to get because we're coming up to the ice beam, ice beam very shortly here. So, scan this to to that basically creates a shortcut for you, so you don't have to shoot the purple one out again. Basically, um, all right. I think this is a good place to end off the video. Actually, hang on a second. Are we approaching the room here where the ice beam is? Because if we are, then I'm just going to end off there. Um, I don't know what room this is. Oh, okay, yeah, this is it. Alright, so I'm going to end off the episode here and we'll continue on next time. So in the next episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime, we'll be getting the Ice Beam. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care of this video, and goodbye. <laughs>